And I'm finally back in the barn. After sanding this down and getting it all flat and redoing the Bondo, I did several more layers of paint. And now we're back here and we're gonna work on getting the patch for in this hole. I have everything laid out, all my materials and supplies. So out of this piece of acrylic, I'm gonna cut the shape and sand it to fit nice and flush and clean in that square, right? I've measured it, whatever, whatever. This is clear right now, but I'm gonna paint it matching black as the dash so that it's gonna fit in nicely. Then there's gonna be four toggle switches, just simple little bop, bop, stuff like dome light, fan, um, light bar, and what was the last thing I was gonna put there? Oh, I was gonna leave one switch undecided so that in the future if I need to add an accessory, there's already a switch that's ready and I don't have to redesign the whole switch panel. And then there's gonna be this nifty little charger. There is, it's like a three in one thing here. There's a USB type C output, which is great because so many accessories are moving to USB C chargers. There's a USB three for fast charging. And it's also a voltmeter. So once it's all hooked up to my system, when I turn my ignition on, it'll tell me a digital readout of exactly the voltage that my running batteries are putting out. There's a piece of this rail. It's really the same stuff as um, this back here for hanging shelves. Uh, so not super fancy or particular stuff, but I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of this. They're gonna fit inside the edge like that. I'll drill a hole through the rail and then into that rail, I'll be able to use this tap and put threads through that hole. That way I can remove the hardware that's holding on my switch panel anytime I like. I don't want to permanently install this panel because then it'll be impossible to get behind it. But by threading these holes and then installing little metric nuts that are, that'll hold on the, the face panel, then I can remove these nuts, put them back on, remove them, put them back on whenever I like to access the back side of the panel and, and work on the wiring behind it. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's the plan. Let's uh, get to it. After several rounds of sanding and checking, here's how our fit is going. Ta-da! Next up, we'll drill some holes in these that I can use to mount them to the dash. They don't really need to be centered or look good because they're gonna be hidden all the time anyways. So, we'll drill a couple holes. Look at that! Now all that's left to do is drill my holes in the corners of this piece, drill the holes in the metal, tap the metal, and then I'll be able to screw this thing on and off. No problem.
Here we are. Got rails mounted to the dash. I don't think I'd be able to stand on this, but that's not the point. It just needs to hold on a little piece of plastic, so it doesn't need to be bulletproof. But they're, they're sturdy, they're in there. Now I'm gonna adjust the holes on my main piece of plastic a tiny bit because they're a little bit micro off, and then we'll see if it all fits together. Now that I've cleaned up a little bit and I got that piece to fit squarely in the dash, which I haven't showed you. There it is. There it is with the four screws, removable. The hole on this corner is a little bit big. I wanted to use some rubber washers anyways, just to protect the paint once I paint it. So a washer will cover that up nicely, is my plan. Um, but now is the time where I measure out and execute exactly what I want to put in there. I have drawn up the concept for what I want this to look like. And this is what I've settled with, okay? There's the charger and then these four switches, evenly spaced out along the bottom. I think it's an inch and a half on each end and then an inch and a quarter between the center of each switch. So let's measure out our piece and our holes and do some drilling. Look at that! Whoop. I actually found that using a diamond Dremel tip worked super well because what it did, it half ground, half melted the plastic. Drill bits would rather cut the plastic with, you know, their spiral blades. And that was what was causing blowout because the plastic doesn't want to come off in shavings like wood does. So grinding slash melting through it worked a lot better. So that got me some really clean holes. It's still see-through, it's still clear right now, but once I paint it, it'll match the dash so well. This is exciting. Dash is done, it's all clean and all black. I took out the control panel because I needed wiring behind it before I put it in anyways. But let's put the dash back in place and see how it cleans up the whole cockpit driver's area. The dash is in and the switch panel looks great. It's all wired up and the switches, they flip and they turn on the wires that they're supposed to. Of course, I don't have any accessories hooked up. So when I get the accessories in, I will do another episode talking about the wiring that's going on behind there so that it all makes sense. Otherwise right now would be the point. You can't tell what does what. So anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate all of you following the journey, watching the videos, and keeping track of what's going on. I know it's quarantine, I know some of you may not have a project like this, but I'm stoked to be working on mine, and I'm glad that you're following along. If you liked the video, push the button down below, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another video, and we'll see you in the next one where we talk about the back door.